Community organization turns 50, it gives you that opportunity to celebrate where you've come from. Top athletes all together for an incredible celebration. We're so supportive of the Special Olympics, so to be here, it's, it's so it's heartwarming. They're the real heroes, right? These athletes, and it's so nice to celebrate them. It's such a great experience for us Olympians to be here because it's a humbling experience yeah. and it's so easy to get carried away in the competitive world of, uh, of athletics yeah. and forgetting what really is the meaning of sport. Also there is the man who's instrumental in making this all possible, Dr. Frank Hayden. Well, Frank was the founder of Special yes. Olympics with uh, Eunice Kennedy Shriver. Yes. His research, her power and fame in the U.S. created this incredible movement that's five million plus people worldwide. Yeah. That's the real thing and it's sport that really produces all the yes. benefits that we have. At the gala, Tyler Haddad and Ellen McNearney win male and female athletes of the year. How does it feel to be the athlete of the year? Awesome. It really is like to be here on the 50th and most of the specific. I am honored and privileged to, you know, go there and play for Team Canada and also win the award. Both competing for more than 10 years, the two are forces to be reckoned with. I do swimming and cross-country skiing. I've been to two last years for swimming yeah. and two Canada Games. I thought it was time to give back, so I'm on the Special Olympics for Saskatchewan and Regina Boris now. And while they look up to the likes of Tessa Virtue and Mark Tewksbury, little do they know they are the real stars. I'm so pleased that they're inspired by us because we are equally as inspired by them.